as we have learned about the Pythagoras theorem in our previous video. Now in this one, let's learn about the reverse of the Pythagoras theorem. So the reverse of the Pythagoras theorem says that, so what this theorem says that, if the sides of the triangle, any sides, like all the sides of the triangle satisfy c square is equals to a square plus b square, then the angle opposite side c is a right angle. So we remember c is the hypotenuse, a is perpendicular and b is base. So for in this one, let's draw a triangle. Let's name the triangle and a, b and c. Okay, so now in this one, assume the sides length as well. So in fact, the size of the angle C can be checked as follows. So we have three properties in that. Let's do the first one. If C square is less than A square plus B square, then C is less than 90 degree angle. So C is a acute angle. So C, remember that the hypotenuse is less than perpendicular plus base square. Perpendicular square plus base square. Then C will be acute angle. And if C square is equal to A square plus B square, then C will be equal to 90 degree. That means this satisfies the Pythagoras theorem. So C is a right angle triangle. And remember that Pythagoras theorem applies only to the right angle triangle. And if C square is greater than, means the longest side, which is the hypotenuse, hypotenuse whole square is greater than the perpendicular whole square plus base whole square, that is A square plus B square, then C will be greater than 90 degree. Therefore, C is an obtuse angle. So angle which is greater than 90 degree is called an obtuse angle. So this we can understand more if we do an example. Let's draw a triangle. Okay, now we need to find that is that a right angle triangle, acute angle or obtuse. Okay, determine whether this triangle is acute, obtuse, or right angle. Suppose this is a question given to us. And we have given all the sides of the triangle. So for that we need to do first of all sum of the squares of the shorter sides. The sh shortened sides we need to do the sum of those sides. Let's draw a triangle. Three sides in the triangle. Suppose this is given uh, 11.7 meter units are very important uh, this one given that's 12.2 and 17.6 meter so that's 12.2 okay so all the three sides are given to us now the shortest sides are 11.7 you need to do the whole square plus 12.2 is the shorter the whole square so this is equal to 136.89 plus 148.84. 11.7 times 11.7 gives 136.89. Another one, 148.84. After adding, we get 285.73. Now we need to do the square of the longest side. The longest side is 17.6. So we need to square that and see what we got. So 17.6 times 17.6 give me 309.76. Now we can clearly see here that 309.76 is greater than 285.73. So we can write as 17.6 whole square is greater than 11.7 whole square plus 12.2 whole square. So that means C square is greater than A square plus B square. Therefore, obtuse angle. So in this way, we can find for the acute angle as well, for the right angle triangle as well. That's it.